Welcome to part two in the API video series where we actually start tracking and, you know, get to the music, the thing that actually matters and all this. So unfortunately, just real quick, a lot of things went wrong the past month and a half. Um, I brought in, I tried to bring in a bunch of musicians. A bunch of us got sick. I got COVID. It just threw a wrench in this whole thing. So I ended up just doing all the tracking myself because I just didn't have a choice. I had a two-week window to get this done, and I was sick with COVID and had to isolate during that two weeks. So you get more of me, unfortunately, but I think I pulled off a pretty good song, all things considered, and I'm proud of it, but I apologize. I wanted to bring in a bunch of musicians for this, and it just didn't happen. Maybe next time. We'll see. But just to start off, I want to start out with drums because it was the first thing that we did. I brought in my friend Darren to do drums for this, and he actually played to a completely different song that my friend from Texas wrote. So I ended up finding one of my songs that worked with the drum beat somewhat, and I recycled Darren's drums, unfortunately, because I had to. I didn't have a choice. So you're going to hear Darren playing to a completely different song, but I've chopped up his drums and made it work for my song. So if you hear a couple of funky edits or the beat's just a little weird for the song, that's why. But I think it still worked out well, um, all things considered. You know, We kind of just roll with the punches. I don't think I have to tell you guys that um, all of you have been rolling with the punches for the last two years. It is what it is. That's the world we live in these days. So... Let's go ahead and get to drums. I figured there's going to be a couple of questions about such a weird atypical drum setup, so I just wanted to address that real quick. I'm limited to a total of eight inputs to do this test correctly because I wanted to be able to send everything into the same converters, my Apollo X8P. So four total inputs means that I can only split a total of four mics two ways. So I think most people, if you're going to have a four mic drum set up, would just do the normal two overheads, a uh, snare top and a kick. I thought about doing that, but I've actually used this weird setup a lot in this room and with this setup, so I knew it would work really well for this song. And believe it or not, it's, it's a fairly versatile little setup. So... I'm not sure if I'm going to end up having the drums mono or I might want to spread them out a little bit to stereo. So essentially this setup is kind of configured around this old RCA ribbon mic from the 1930s. This is getting the bulk of the sound. I've also added an, a Dr. Alien Smith Alien 8 to the outside of the kick by the cutout hole just to get a little bit more attack and some oomph. I've also got a mic under the snare. And this is a pretty big 15 inch marching snare from the 60s, it's a Ludwig. I don't think we're gonna end up using floor tom for the song, but I've got it set up just in case we wanna try some stuff. And I also have a small cap mic over the tom and by the ride cymbal just to pick up a little bit of that. Now the benefit of this weird kind of side mic that's way over the tom is that if we want to, we can actually spread this out and use the ribbon mic as stereo left, kind of to get the hats and the crash. And this guy is stereo right to get a little bit of the ride and just get some stereo width. I know mismatching overhead stereo mics is generally a no-no, but throw the rules out the door, trust me on this one. It's gonna sound really awesome, spread out in stereo. Or if I decide I want it mono, I'm just going to base the mix around the old RCA ribbon and use everything else as support. Let's take a listen.
if I had to guess, I think a lot of you probably found that sequence really long and probably a little boring, even though it was thorough. It was my intention to kind of take that approach with every instrument in the video, but after editing that first drum sequence, <laughs> it's really long, and I don't think you want to see me do that for every single instrument. So I think moving forward, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you matching levels and EQ and compression on the API hardware, and you'll just have to trust that I've matched it with everything else because that was really long. And this is going to be a long video, but I want to be thorough, but I still want this to be entertaining. So hopefully that drum sequence give, gives you a pretty good idea of how I've done things, and I'll just kind of expedite the process moving forward and try to keep this moving forward and not be too long-winded. So let's move on to the next thing. The piano part that I came up with for the song ended up being pretty simple for the most part, so I split it into two different piano parts where I basically took really low octave left hand parts and kind of divvied those up onto the grand piano. Then I did some higher octave stuff on my weird quirky little upright so I could kind of do a pan left right thing, similar to what, what artists like Ben Folds do when they double track pianos, but I think it's going to work out really well for this song. Thank you. 
I was a little torn on whether or not to use the old RCA ribbon mic for my voice. Um, I'm not the best singer, and usually you kind of you need a pretty decent singer to sound good through that thing. But I figured since it's a shootout, I'd throw the TG on there as well so that we could blend between them and make me sound as good as possible because sometimes I need all the help I can get vocally. So you'll have the Chandler TG sounding really modern. You'll have the old 1932 RCA sounding classic, which I think will work well for this song. And if you want, you can blend between the two. But it is a shootout, so you've got a classic ribbon and a modern condenser. So go hog wild. This is going to be a pretty quick level set on the vocals because I'm still getting over COVID. So I don't know if I can actually sing for four minutes straight to get both the mics checked. So let's run through this real quick. <clears throat> In San Francisco, I let myself go, but not in the ways and all of my friends said would help me to grow. I slept through the days, worked in the nights, I wrote songs in cages in beautiful places I'll never afford. Cause that westward sun Burns so much brighter When you're on the run The darker the places The smaller those spaces Made all of that hard living fun When you're on the run In San Francisco I let myself go but not in the ways and all of my friends said would help me to grow. <coughs> Slept through the days, worked in the nights, wrote songs in cages in beautiful places I'll never afford. <laughs> my tummy's rumbling. I think it's lunchtime. Cause that westward sun Burns so much brighter When you're on the run The darker the places The smaller those spaces Made all of that hard living fun When you're on the run And the days grow shorter and the years shuffle by Remember a time When the darkness Was a quiet you craved And the light Seemed more like a judgment And then the freedom it offers you now Run to your shelter That should do it. <clears throat> Cause that west word song burns so much brighter when you're on the run. The darker the places, the smaller those spaces made all of that hard living fun. When the days grow shorter. And the years shuffle by Remember a time When the darkness Was a quiet you craved And the light Seemed more like a judgment Than the freedom it offers you now Run to your shelter Run to your light. I think that's a wrap for the part two video. Don't forget that I've put the full session files in the link description. So download those, uh, go crazy, kind of do your own tests and see what you think. I've thrown a few other things into the session that I didn't go over in here, but I figured you guys wouldn't want to watch me setting levels on like a tambourine and backing vocals. But anyway, 
make sure you stay tuned for part three. That's when I'll do kind of the montage where we go over the whole song front to back. But again, until then, if you want to play around and hear the whole song, download the session files. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at part three.